Hello. And welcome to Best Web Soft. Today we will learn how to add Facebook buttons to your website, posts, and widgets using the Like and Share plugin by Best Web Soft. Let's start by installing the plugin. To do so we need to go to Plugins and click Add New. Now we need to search for a plugin. Type Like and Share by Best Web Soft. Click Install and Activate. Open the Settings page of the Like and Share tab on the dashboard. You can use the options of the general section to make the most important settings for like and share. Use the app ID option to insert a custom app ID from Facebook. Leave blank to use a default app ID. Click the create a new one under the app ID field to get app ID from Facebook, then copy it to the app ID field. Use the buttons option to choose which Facebook buttons to display on your pages or posts. Enable the profile URL to display the profile URL Facebook button on your pages or posts. After saving changes, the profile URL button will look as follows. Enable the like to display the like Facebook button on your pages or posts. After saving changes, the like button will look as follows. Enable the share to display the share Facebook button on your pages or posts. After saving changes the share button will look as follows. Use the button size option to choose the size of Facebook buttons on your pages or posts. Choose the small to apply the small size to the like and share buttons on posts and pages. After saving changes the small button size will look as follows. Choose the large to apply the large size to the like and share buttons on posts and pages. After saving changes the large button size will look as follows. Use the button position option to select the position of like and share buttons on a page or post. Enable the before content to display the like and share buttons before the text block. After saving changes, the my page, like and share buttons will look as follows. Enable the after content to display the like and share buttons after the text block. After saving changes, the My Page, Like and Share buttons will look as follows. Use the Button Align option to align the position of your Like and Share buttons on a page or post by width. Choose the right to apply the Align to the right side of the Like and Share buttons on posts and pages. After saving changes, the My Page, Like and Share buttons will look as follows. Choose the center to apply the alignment to the center for the like and share buttons on posts and pages. After saving changes, the My Page, Like and Share buttons will look as follows. Choose the left to apply the alignment to the left side for the like and share buttons on posts and pages. After saving changes, the My Page, Like and Share buttons will look as follows. Use the language option. To select the default language which will be used for like and share buttons, titles, and notifications. Choose the default language in the drop-down which will be used for like and share buttons titles and notifications. Note, install and activate the multi-language plugin to enable this option. Enable the multi-language option to use the current site language. To download the plugin click the Install Now button. After multi-language plugin is installed and activated, enable the multi-language option to switch language automatically on the multi-language website. Use the excerpt option to display like and share buttons for categories, archives, search results, etc. If only a part of a post is visible, like and share buttons will be still displayed. Enable the excerpt option to display buttons in the excerpt. To check the excerpt option, use the search results and archive pages. Use the Meta Tags option to enable Meta Tags and customize the Meta Image and Meta Description appearance for posts and pages. Enable the Meta Tags to add Meta Tags to the website that affect the appearance of a post on Facebook. Use the Meta Image option to select the Meta Image for your posts. This option will be available only if the Meta Tags option is enabled. Choose the Featured Image to use the Meta Image from the post. Choose the custom image to apply custom meta image to posts. This image will be used for all posts. To choose the custom image, click the Add Media button and upload the image from the computer or select it from the website's media library. Use the Meta Description option 
to enter a custom description for your posts. This option will be available only if the meta tags option is enabled. To enter a custom description, type the desired text in the meta description field. Use the options of the profile URL button section to make the settings particularly for profile URL button of like and share plugin. Use the Facebook ID or username option to turn the My Page button into a link that leads to the Facebook profile page. To turn the My Page button into a link that leads to the Facebook profile page, enter the desired Facebook ID or username to the option field. Use the Profile button image option to select the image for the My Page button. Choose the default to use the default image for the My Page button. Choose the custom image to use a custom image for the My Page button. To choose the custom image click the Add Media button and upload image from the computer or select it from the website's media library. Take a note of the image requirements. Use the options of the Like and Share button section to make the settings particularly for Like and Share buttons of Like and Share plugin. Use the Like button layout option to change the appearance of the Like button. Choose Standard and Order for Like button to appear along with what your friends like box. After saving changes, the Like button will look as follows. Choose Box Count and Order for Like button to appear with a counter above the button. After saving changes, the Like button will look as follows. Choose Button and Order for Like button to appear without a counter and other information. After saving changes, the Like button will look as follows. Use the Share button layout option to change the appearance of the Share button. Choose Box Count in order for Share button to appear with a counter above the button. After saving changes, the Share button will look as follows. Choose Button Count in order for Share button to appear with a counter inside the button. After saving changes, the Share button will look as follows. Choose the button in order for Share button to appear without a counter. After saving changes, the Share button will look as follows. Choose the icon link in order for Share button to appear like a little icon with the Share link. After saving changes, the Share button will look as follows. Choose icon in order for Share button to appear like a little Facebook icon. After saving changes, the Share button will look as follows. Choose the link in order for Share button to appear like a share on Facebook link. After saving changes, the Share button will look as follows. Use the Like button action option to choose the Like button click action. Choose Like for the Like button to perform its standard Like function. Choose Recommend for the Like button to turn into Recommend button and perform the Recommend function. Use the Like button HTML tag option to choose the Like button tag for the last versions of browsers or the legacy browsers. Enable the Friends Faces option to show faces of your friends who submitted the button. Use the Layout Width option to change the Like and Share button's block width. Use the Theme option to choose between light and dark themes for the Like and Share buttons. Choose Facebook Like tag for the HTML5 supported browsers. Choose the Div tag for the legacy browsers. Tag Div can be used to improve website code validation. Use the URL to Like option to insert a custom URL for the Like button. Leave blank to use the current page URL. Use the options of the Display Settings tab to choose the necessary post types or single pages where Like and Share buttons will be displayed. Enable the necessary post types or single pages where Like and Share buttons will be displayed in the Display Settings list. Use the options of the Miscellaneous Settings tab to make the settings regarding the track usage and default settings. Enable the Track Usage option to allow tracking plugin usage anonymously. Click the Restore Settings button to reset all the settings made previously and revert them to the default ones. Click Yes, Restore All Settings button to confirm the procedure. Use the Custom Code tab to insert a CSS, PHP or JavaScript code. To activate the inserted code, enable the Activate Custom Code option and save changes. Use the License Key tab to activate or check the Pro plugin license. After a successful plugin purchase, you will receive an email notification with a download link and a license key.
Activate Pro License by pasting a license key into the Like and Share Pro License field and clicking the Save Changes button. To check the license key, click the Check License Key button. If the entered key is correct, the notification the license key is valid. Your license will expire on, will be displayed in the upper left corner of the page. Add the Like and Share button to your posts, pages, custom post types, or widgets by using the shortcode. Copy the necessary shortcode from the settings page. Click the posts or pages, and then add new to create a new post or a page, or open the existing one in the edit mode. Insert copied earlier shortcode to the necessary place of page or post. Click publish and then preview buttons, in order to see the page or post. Like and share buttons will look on a page as follows. Use the statistics page to view the statistics of the posts and pages with likes, shares and profile URL count. Use the filter to switch like and share statistics between posts and pages. Use the search field to find the statistic for the exact page or post. Use the statistics list to view the posts or pages with like and share counts. These were all the settings for the like and share plugin. Download the like and share plugin by following the link in the description. We hope this video will help you with your goals. Thanks for watching and goodbye.